my name is Holly Fisher. I'm the founder and program director of the Smart Shop Metal Arts Center here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. I'm also an artist blacksmith and um, I create one of a kind original artworks out of metal, primarily uh, metal uh, that's been forged. What we started with was a bar like this. It's one inch by one quarter of an inch. And what I'm doing is forging it out into a taper, uh, long and thin, like was used on the main and tail and most of the other parts of Helios Runaway. We're taking about this much of the mass of metal, getting it hot and tapering it out so it'll get longer and thinner, okay? What's important is that I do keep that width as well. Always overlapping my hammer marks, always moving the metal in a, as controlled fashion as possible. Well, blacksmithing is easy to, um, easy to get fast results from if you're uh, encouraged and taught in the right ways. Um, also, if your personality allows you to kind of um, succumb to the medium and understand that you need to do it metal's way. Um, outwardly stubborn and maverick people typically um, do not turn into good blacksmiths. However, good blacksmiths eventually turn into stubborn mavericks. <laughs> um, you, as long as you have a sensitivity um, and a will to make things happen, you can be a good blacksmith. Um, here at Smart Shop, I teach people how to use the forge to create art and other functional tools um, from the ages of about nine until about 85. Just touching up the corners here. Okay, so we've made quite a good deal of progress. Um, we've taken that rectangular bar, what used to be a rectangular bar, heated it up, and moved that metal out in a um, semi-controlled fashion to get a nice long taper. Now what you're going to see me do is take that taper and stretch that and lengthen it, smooth it just a little, and then we'll curl it into a shape. There's an old saying that goes, you teach best what you need to learn most. And I really attribute my students and thank them for my, giving me the opportunity to teach them because it's really helped me become way more self-informed. Um, and it's helped me make some big leaps in my skill and technique as a blacksmith and as a sculptor. Okay, I'm gonna go right there to the horn. And we're gonna put our first bend in. And our second. you know on the end of the taper the metal is thinner so it gets hotter faster and it gets cooler faster so we have to make our decisions a little bit better a little bit faster and we're going to chase that shape all the way down what happens in the metalworking studio is that our students um, encounter a degree of empowerment and proficiency and when it's something that's as magical as blacksmithing, um, it really changes your um, perspective on the world and your perspective on yourself. And, and it, it starts to make you um, go about your life in a more confident way, um, in a more informed way. Okay, so we started with this, which is a one inch by quarter inch mild steel bar and we got it hot and hit it <laughs> a lot and ended up with a lovely um, part of what will be another horse. Thanks for joining me here in Kalamazoo, Michigan at my forge um, and thanks for your time and attention and I hope that you too will try your hand at blacksmithing someday.